friendly foes, it's Jen, or Jen's hands, woo. I'm not wearing makeup, so that's all you get to see of me. Today we're doing fun stuff. We are melting things, specifically these things, and then we're blowing them around, and I think it's gonna look cool. Uh, so to do this, you need pretty basic stuff. Uh, you just need some crayons, these are from the dollar store. You need some straws to blow stuff around. You need a candle lighter, you probably already have one. Uh, you need a cheap frame. This one's actually from Walmart, it was like four bucks, but we also have dollar store frames that were a dollar each, even better. I'll be using those later. Um, what helps kind of bring it to the next level, you need a sticker silhouette. You can see this is like the Disney castle. Um, you don't have to have this, but it, it kind of brings it to the next level and I like it. Plus we got to use our new Cricut to cut this, which was super fun. Uh, you can see I've already peeled it up, it's on the other, you'll see it in a minute. Uh, and the last thing that you don't have to have, but that helps a lot, is a heat gun. You can see our trusty one over here. You can get these for like less than 20 bucks on Amazon. I think I saw one for 16. Um, this is a Wagner, the brand doesn't matter. I mean, it just blows hot air. Um, so if you craft a lot, grab one. It's good to have in your arsenal. You can do this without it though, so it's fine. You can make do with this thing. It's just easier with this thing. So uh, let's get started, let's melt stuff. Yeah. Right, so this is my setup. I've got my castle silhouette on the piece of glass from my cheap dollar store frame. Make sure it's glass. Some frames come with plexiglass, rarely. That will melt, so make sure it's actual glass. So that's set up there. I've got my straw, I've got my heat gun, my lighter, and my crayons. Uh, another quick important thing, make sure the surface you're working on is protected from the heat. It's gonna get pretty warm here. So if you've got a silicone mat, use that, otherwise, Put a towel or a piece of wood or you know something underneath your glass here to just protect your table or counter or whatever to uh, from the heat. Okay, good. Now we can melt stuff. Um, now, like I said, you can do this just with the candle lighter. The only difference that I've noticed is the candle lighter will add a little bit of a black residue onto the crayon as it drips, which will mix in with the color. It's very mild, it's not a big deal, but it's something that happens. So if that really bugs you, then you'll wanna melt the crayons with the heat gun completely. But what I've found that I like to do, and I'm gonna start with the red, is I put a couple of drips down with the lighter and then I continue heating them with the heat gun just to blow it around a little bit. I'll show you what that means. So let's get going. If you wanna avoid some of that blackness I was talking about, try to get the wax kind of near the edge of the flame tip, not right into the blue bits because I find that's where it causes a lot of the black smoky. Actually, you can see it there. See, it's making blackness. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. We're just gonna start with a little bit for right now. And again, what you're gonna be doing is blowing it around. Now, you could go right now, but it's probably already started to, oop, my head's in there. Uh, it's probably already cooled. Yeah, see, it's cooled. So, this is where you come in with the heat gun. And you're just gonna melt what you already put on there and then blow at the same time. So you can see I'm kind of turning it a little bit because I wanna control the splash. And then you can also see it gets super translucent the more you blow it out. So it's completely up to you. This is where it's fun to kind of play with. If you have an area that's too dark that you don't like, just reheat it and blow on it some more. Um, and then if it's too light, like if you've separated it a little too much, you can always add more. So just play around with it. Uh, I'm gonna grab another color though to start showing you how it melts together because that's really fun. Okay, so I like rainbows, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. But one general tip when you're blending these together it helps if you do hot colors blending into other hot colors and cool colors same way. So if you want to blend a red into pinks or oranges or yellows, that's going to look really good. But if you were to put, say, a green on here, not so good. So just play around. You'll, you'll figure it out. Let's start with some more. Uh, this one I'm going to go ahead and melt the crayon with the heat gun just to show you the difference. The first difference being it takes a little longer. But the advantage, even though it's taking longer, is this doesn't cause that smoky residue that you get from the flame. And then I'm gonna keep heating and blow it around with my trusty straw. It's 
See that blending area there? It looks so cool. Here we are, it's been about 40 minutes. I really took my time on this, plus I scraped some off and started over because I wasn't happy with this section. I'm still not super crazy about it, but it's okay. Uh, the good thing with this, uh, it's wax, so you can do that. You can just scrape it and try again. Another thing I learned that was really helpful, if you get a big open area, like you see these little bits here, those actually look really cool. You don't have to fill everything. But if you've got one that you really don't like, easy tip, all you have to do is just heat the tip of the crayon and touch it right to the glass and it fills in beautifully. If it looks a little chunky, you just hit it with the uh, heat gun for like half a second and it just melds in. So this is very easy to add to. Um, so don't be worried about if anything looks too thin, you can go back and add more. It was really easy, which was cool. Plus you can see this didn't take much wax because that's my crayons. I've got all kinds of stuff left over. So, now it's time for the big reveal. Are you ready? This is gonna be super cool. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Here we go. Don't break the glass, Jen. This is really thin, cheap glass. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Look at that! It's so cool! Now, we're not quite done yet. This is actually a decal that we're going to um, peel off, but in the end, it should look exactly like that. But let me go ahead and peel it, just to be sure. So I'm gonna flip it over and do that, and then we'll check back in. Oh, oh, here we go. Something's happening. Something happened, yeah. Here we go. Can you see this? Now I will tell you from past experience when we did this on our trial run, the wax is gonna crack up a little bit and it's gonna make such a mess. Um, so make sure you're on a work surface with like lots of paper towels and stuff. Cause you can already see, see all this? It's gonna get everywhere but it's worth it because it's gonna look really cool. All right, I will resume peeling. <laughs> I'm covered in shavings, you can't really see, but. Oh, let's see if these flags go in one piece. Oh no, there's way, no. Okay, my flag snapped off, but I'll get those. That's the decal all removed, but again, there are, you can see I've got shavings kind of all over me, just from the wax cracking up and making these little bits everywhere. So you're gonna have to clean off your glass. So it might help to have like an artist brush or something to brush it, or you can use your fingers. It's very sticky, so be prepared for a lot of tedious cleanup. Aha, thank you, mysterious assistant. That's one thing about, this stuff is so sticky that you literally could just press your finger onto it. <laughs> It'll just stick to you. <laughs> Wait, I have a better method than the brush, John. What? Just stick your fingers down. Perfect. You're like a lint roller for your art. <laughs> I've flipped it over on a piece of paper now, just so you can see, but I've removed the decal. Um, there are a couple places, little tiny bits right here where it bled, um, where there's a little wax under it. But the good thing is, like, again, that comes right off the glass. So I'm gonna use a toothpick as opposed to a razor, just because it's a little less scratchy but you can just come in there and kind of clean up any edges that you need to. This is kind of like an old fashioned scratch board. If you're old enough to remember those where you would cover something with crayon and then black crayon on top and scratch through and show the colors. Same sort of idea. You could easily, if you wanted to, and you don't have a decal, um, do the rainbow splash and then get a toothpick and then draw something on top of it through. It would look super cool. I'm just not that artistic. I'm in the process of framing this, guys, but before I put the back on, I wanna show you something super cool that you can do with these. So John, hit the lights. Check it out. 
I've got a light behind this right now and see how beautifully translucent that wax is. You could use this as a sun catcher. You could get a um, shadow box frame and stick an LED light in there and light it up from behind. All kinds of super cool things. Uh, again, this is just a dollar store frame, so we're not doing that, but I just wanted to show you the possibilities. Cause seriously, that is freaking gorgeous, right? Okay, John, you can turn the lights back on. Here it is all framed up. Ooh, ah. Okay, now I know the frame is really ugly. John just said to use it, um, but it's just my dollar store frame. It costs a dollar, okay? Um, but yeah, maybe if you get a slightly prettier frame or, um, you know, I might paint this one black just to make it look a little more modern. But overall, you can see it's very pretty. You just want to back it with a white piece of paper to uh, make the colors really pop. I mean, you could use black as well, but I find that the white makes them look extra vivid. So anyway, I hope you guys had fun watching me melt stuff and blow it around. Um, and I hope you give it a try. And if you do, make sure you share your pictures, tag me on Instagram or post them on Facebook so I can see. I want to see what you guys do. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And I hope you will like and subscribe because we're going to try and do some more videos again. And this is super fun. So I hope you had fun. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.